This is a real treat, this final chapter, this concluding capstone to the book, where Moroni could have taken any, any direction he wanted, but he chooses to say, I'm, I'm finishing my book. Remember, he said farewell to us a couple of times in the past, and then he's come back in and written some more. In this one, it feels like he knows this really is the, the final farewell. So he's going to couch his last teachings within the framework of eight exhortations. So you'll notice that he introduces these eight exhortations in verse 2. He says, and I seal up these records after I have spoken a few words by way of exhortation unto you. And then he opens verse 3 with, behold, I would exhort you. And then verse 4 has his second ex exhortation, verse 7, verse 8, verse 18, verse 19, 27, and 30. And so, we're going to, to work our way through the chapter looking at each, each one of these exhortations one at a time. It's an interesting word. We don't usually use the word exhortation in our language today, at least in the most of the English-speaking world. Really fascinating word. So, the core meaning of exhort is to encourage, to stimulate, to urge. And in particular, I like this word, courage, where the word core actually means heart. I want to put heart into your action. And so, here he is after this long series of beautiful writings that we've been able to review over the year. What's the most important thing you would say if you were talking to people in the future? I want you to have a heart. I want you to be, feel encouraged. I want you to be stimulated to go out and act and go do something to believe. And as we talk through these exhortations that Moroni li lists for us, just ask yourself, how is he giving me courage? How is he act, asking me to act, to be in step with God, to show my faith by being stimulated and being urged to be focused on the core, the heart of what really matters? It's the love of God. So, as Tyler goes through this, pay close, pay close attention to those exhortations.